That's a great question. How do I prepare on a week when things are just so out of the ordinary? Um, <laughs> it's still a mystery to me in some ways, like much of the preaching craft. Um, but I would say a couple of things. One is um, the preparation was living the gospel in the midst of the city in that week. So um, we had an impromptu worship service that uh, was pulled together by staff and leaders in the congregation that brought people in from the neighborhood I've never seen before in church. Um, we followed that same evening. This is a day after. There was a lot of looting and burning and that kind of thing. Uh, we followed that evening by going to the neighborhood where Freddie Gray was killed at the invitation of people who live there to share a meal together and to listen. And about 150 people came out from the community um, you know, before a curfew went into effect at 10 o'clock that night to sit around tables and just talk about what they had experienced, um, talk about what it was like to have the National Guard in their streets, um, and then to talk more deeply about um, the real issues that people have been facing uh, prior to this um, crisis. Um, the lack of jobs, the uh, frustration of young people not having anywhere to go or anything to do, um, the lack of opportunity for families to be able to transition from a life of poverty into something different, and the feeling that leaders don't really care. So um, all of that week, and, and you know, I worked probably 16, 18 hour days that week, but the sermon wrote itself. Uh, that was probably the easiest sermon for me to write that week just because um, the gospel was so clear in the street. Um, and, I, you know, I think that's, those are the best sermons to preach, the ones that write themselves.